Throughout the history of humanity, there has been a persistent fascination with the idea of other powerful civilizations existing beyond our own. For the most part, this fascination is born out of the refusal of humans to believe that we are the only ones that exist in this vast universe. In fact, many people actively started considering that pop culture has helped fuel the interest in other civilizations. It's possible that many of us feel validated in our consistent fascination with other powerful civilizations by the fact that scientists are invested in it too. Scientific disciplines are dedicated to searching out and potentially understanding civilizations outside of life that exist on Earth. The field of astrobiology seeks to understand the potential for life beyond Earth and, by extension, the possibility of advanced civilizations existing elsewhere in the universe. For instance, astronomy studies the different components and elements in our universe. According to astrophysicists Adam Frank and Gavin Schmidt, it's possible that we haven't found direct evidence of ancient civilizations like actual technological artifacts because of how rare fossilization is and just the fact that most of Earth's exposed surface is relatively new. They proposed this idea in a 2018 paper titled The Silurian Hypothesis. While the proponents are doubtful that there were ancient civilizations before our own, they mention that there had been sufficient fossil carbon to fuel an industrial civilization like ours from as early as more than 300 million years ago, which could suggest the existence of a prior civilization. They pointed out that human society has only been industrialized for about 300 years. Meanwhile, complex life has existed for close to 400 million years. Therefore, it shouldn't be far-fetched that other civilizations came before us and did things much better than we currently do. But science is not just looking for past civilizations. One line of evidence that has been considered in support of current powerful civilizations aside from humanity is the existence of exoplanets, which are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. The discovery of exoplanets has expanded our understanding of the potential habitability of other worlds and has raised the possibility that some of these exoplanets may host life and perhaps even advanced civilizations. Exoplanets are, however, difficult to study for biological life because of how far away they are. But according to NASA, there might be a way. Instead of sending a spacecraft to these exoplanets as they would for the other planets that orbit our sun, such as Mars and the moon, they can study these exoplanets' biosignatures. Biosignature is a combination of gases like oxygen and methane, indicating biological life. Alternatively, they could look out for technosignature, which, as you might have guessed, is a combination of gases that should indicate an industrial or technological civilization. There have been several studies on this already, but more has yet to be determined. So, who knows? We might have some substantial evidence soon. Another scientific perspective comes from the field of radio astronomy, which involves the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The SETI program has been dedicated to scanning the cosmos for signals that may indicate the presence of advanced civilizations. And the idea for this is born out of the fact that Earth is nothing special. Referring to the matter at hand, CBS News writes, the researchers assume that Earth is not special. If an Earth-like planet forms in an Earth-like orbit around a Sun-like star, hosting a civilization that develops technologically in a similar way to humans, there would be approximately 36 Earth-like civilizations in our galaxy. Researchers believe that there is a significant possibility that these other civilizations are on the same quest as we are trying to find other civilizations similar to theirs. And if they are, they would send signals similar to our radio signals, which we should be able to pick up on at some point. 
we refuse to believe that our civilization is not advanced enough to pick up on these signals. What if we're playing catch up? What if these civilizations have already picked up on our signals, but have refused to communicate with us directly? In addition to scientific considerations, the potential evidence of powerful civilizations aside from humanity has also been explored through historical and archaeological lenses. Throughout human history, numerous accounts of unexplained phenomena, artifacts, and ancient structures have led some to speculate about the existence of advanced civilizations predating our own. Consider ancient megalithic structures, for instance, pyramids of Egypt, Stonehenge in England, and the Moai statues of Easter Island. These ancient monuments have long captivated the human imagination and have prompted questions about the technological capabilities and societal organization of the cultures that built them. Some people have suggested that humans didn't build these structures. And while it's easy to laugh at this take, we have to ask ourselves, why haven't we been able to build lasting monuments like those with all of our technology? Studying ancient texts and myths from various cultures worldwide has also contributed to the speculation about powerful civilizations aside from humanity. Many ancient myths and religious traditions contain stories of gods, celestial beings, and otherworldly visitors, leading some to interpret these accounts as evidence of contact with advanced extraterrestrial entities. However, this take is only somewhat welcome in scientific and academic circles. Philosophers have also thrown in their two cents, as we all try to grapple with the idea that we might not be the only ones in our universe. One such line of reasoning is the Fermi paradox concept. Named after physicist Enrico Fermi, the paradox refers to the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial civilizations existing and the lack of evidence for their existence. If there are powerful civilizations, why haven't we seen any of them yet? Suppose the universe is so vast and teeming with potentially habitable planets, as suggested by the incredibly high number of stars and galaxies. In that case, we should have come in contact with some other life forms at some point and in some way. What's more, if our civilization has managed all of these technological advancements that allow us to travel out of our planet, these other civilizations should have too, increasing our chances of meeting. But as far as we know, no actual meetings or sightings have happened. This paradox has led to various hypotheses and explanations, including the possibility that we erroneously assume these powerful civilizations want to be found. Some philosophers have also suggested the possibility that these other civilizations have developed technologies so powerful that it has wiped out their entire civilizations. There's also the possibility that these other civilizations may exist in forms or dimensions beyond our current understanding. Furthermore, the paradox has raised ethical and existential questions about our potential interactions with powerful civilizations. These civilizations could be sending us on a wild goose chase, wasting money that could have been used to better the lives of natives. Maybe they don't want to be seen. And if that's the case, is Earth well equipped for an intergalactic war? Scientists think that finding extraterrestrial intelligent life could give us an idea of how long our civilization will last. Intelligent civilizations could have been doing their responsibilities for a long time, and if they are still around, we can expect their visit. We could learn and improve our preservation of the human race. However, finding no other life form on other planets could lead to the human race not being here forever, especially if we find evidence that there used to be intelligent lives in these other places that no longer exist. Our annihilation would either be at the hands of our invention or our very own hands. So, what do you think about all of this? Could humanity be the peak of intelligence in the universe? Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and we will see you in the next video.